the, our March 10th meeting. Would everybody stand for the Pledge of Allegiance with me, please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'd like to welcome everybody here this evening. First, to start off the meeting, I would like to congratulate our uh, high school boys basketball team, who is uh, in semifinals tonight um, at the field house, if I'm not mistaken, at 8 o'clock. And also, we have nine wrestlers out of the high school that are going to state, and they might be on the way, it's according to I Mr. Keeble. So, so, you know, the high school sports are doing very well this yes, spring. So. We congratulate them. So let's move on to um, our fire chief. Yeah. Yeah. We turn that down, Jeff. We can turn it off. There's something that we that feedback that's is there is something that I'm going to do. No, this is oh, a, that, no, this that's is not plugged in. in. <laughs> There's no flying on the back. On the back of these little things. Resolution to approve the purchase of a copy machine for our emergency communication center from Graphic Enterprises Office Solutions, North Kenton, Ohio, in the amount of four thousand five hundred ninety-eight dollars. Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion and a second. Discussion. Rich, I, I have a, two questions for you on this. You checked out the lease at, and this just worked out better to purchase the lease. It'd be twenty-three hundred dollars more. Yeah, Is there a maintenance? You get a maintenance deal with them. Well, all. we we had the same maintenance contract on it that we still have that was in that. Oh, it's separate. Sense. It's a separate, separate thing yeah. from the lease. The only thing we have to make sure is if Todd cancels the lease, if we're still paying those lease payments, it would need to cancel it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, but it and it's the lowest tier that we could go with for the copiers. Okay. We don't use that much on the copiers. Sure. Most of our stuff now is faxing and email, especially with this machine because they do so much of it with the police department for warrants. You got a fax. You scan it in and then you yeah, they scan it and yeah. email it off and they email the run reports and stuff. So. Okay, sure. Thank you. Uh, the motion second voting, please. Yellow. Anybody? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. George. Yes. Dom. Yes. Uh, second item is a resolution to approve the purchase of an Eventide NextLog EX740 recording system and the application software. Farmers Communication Center from Interaction Insight of Medina, Ohio, in the amount of $23,696. This replaces the original uh, recording system that's been in there since 2006. Uh, it's 16 years old. We've taped it together. We've done everything we can do. They don't support it anymore, and we, we have to report those lines and all the 911 and emergency calls. Uh, for you know, Departments want it for review, but also a lot of the time. Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion and a second. Voting, please. Amber. Yes. George. Yes. Don. Yes. All right. Thank you. Jamie Mays up. Uh, first, a uh, resolution to accept the March 10th, 2022 road report. Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion and a second. Voting, please. Amber. Yes. George. Yes. Don. Yes. Second, approve the advertisement for the 2022 road materials. Motion to approve. Second. A motion and a second. Uh, voting, please. Jennifer. Yes. George. Yes. Don. Yes. Third, uh, discuss the road sweeping contract for 2022. Uh, I believe Sky Sweeping bought everybody out, uh, and they're the only ones that bid on it for the last, right, last four, two four years. Year. Yeah. So, do we need to advertise, or maybe just contact them? It's usually been about. 17,000. So if it's in that close to that, I think we ought to just. Yeah, and just let us know what last year was and then let us know what they quote for this year, just so we can say. Yeah, I thought it was 5,500. I thought it was like 6,500 bucks. Uh, we, six in my brain. But. Me too, at 54. 
Yeah. Uh, didn't we just pay that not too long ago? Yeah, it was it was higher than it's been. It's yeah, it used to be like four grand and five yeah. grand, and then went up six. Check just check what last yeah, year was I'll, if you could. I'll talk to them and get a price yeah. and then see what just, just so we know. Yeah. Okay. Jim, is that yeah, something that was big. better than advertising? Yeah. We don't have to. It's under. You don't have to. Well, under fifty thousand. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And let's see, four, uh, discuss the roof repair on the road department. Yeah, I think we've been battling on that roof for a while. Roof yeah. leaks and falling down uh, insulation. And yeah, it, it definitely needs some. We've got, uh, Jamie took, uh, got three bids. Uh, our lowest bid on the project was from uh, a gentleman by the name of Peter Miller, Miller's Commercial Roofing. And they are, um, they do commercial uh, work, of course. I'm seeing if there's an address for them right here, but uh, uh, yes, they're at 2983 Pleasant Valley Road Southwest. Is that Northburg or? I thought no, it was Sugar, Sugar, Sugar Creek. Creek. You're, you're Sugar 100% Creek. correct. That is Sugar Creek. Um, the, price, the price that they've got for us is uh, $37,200. Uh, no. that, that's the wrong one, Don. It, it went up okay. uh, in the last month. That's the wrong one. $43,441.70. I had two quotes, one from last month and one from this, this month. And it went up that much. We'll have to get the new budget in place before I can open a PO for this. Yeah, right. That's that's at least ten weeks out, Todd, okay. if not longer. Right. I did when I talked to the gentleman today. I did ask him about lead time, so it's going to be a while. We have the money to do it. I just have to get the new budget, which will is, is done at the next meeting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what's the warranty on that? Oh, that's twenty years. Oh. All three, all three contractors same warranty. Okay. Now there's not a maintenance thing in here, an agreement, but all of them have that as an extra. That when he's doing the roof, we can talk to him if he need to come up every year, take a look at the roof, make sure there are any problems. And that's our choice if okay. we want to do that. Oh, Thanks, Jamie. Yeah, that's, that's the one we want. That's so one we, we need to read that, read that yes. out loud again. All right. Yeah. I can do it. Believe. Make a motion that we uh, contract with Miller's Commercial Roofing at 2983 Pleasant Valley Road, Sugar Creek, Ohio, uh, and them for the uh, Road Department roof repair in the amount of forty three thousand four hundred and forty one dollars and seventy cents. Second. I have a motion and a second. Voting, please. Jennifer. Yes. Joy. Yes. Uh, yes. And then fifth, uh, approve a blanket blanket certificate for the twenty twenty two road paving program permitted under RC section five seven zero five point four one. D. And I believe that's uh, we'll handle everything, send the estimate to the engineers, uh, advertise it. And this allows us to get the ball rolling with the engineers and what yeah. the roads we want to do. And okay. And I do have a list that I'll probably have out to you guys within the next week or so. Okay. okay. Motion to approve. Second. You have a motion and second. Voting, please. Jennifer. Yes. George. Yes. Don. Yes. How much was that? Oh, I don't like you. Uh, right now, it's, it's just a blanket a certificate. Okay. He's got to get the roads, and then they get the mileage, and then they get the estimates. Okay. From the then it goes to the engineers. Then it goes to the engineers. Then we, then we advertise. It it's like no. the whole get goal. the ball yeah. rolling. Yeah. All right. Hey, Todd, you're up. Please. Okay, so just just to reconfirm everything, we are in a, we're on a temporary budget right now, which you have for the first three months. I've been working on the budget, so at the next meeting that'll get passed, and then we'll be able to open these POs. But yep. the point I'm at right now, I can't open a PO for the roof or anybody until we pass the budget. Yeah, that's right. fine. That's just so fair. everybody understands, yep. we have the money. It's just the budget isn't set up. Yep. Okay, so number one, I have approved annual payment to Lowell Post Office for box 181 in the amount of one hundred dollars. Motion to approve. Second. A motion and second. Voting, please. Jennifer. Yes. George. Yes. Don. Yes. Number two, approve reimbursement check to Adam Gladys for an overpayment to deferred comp in the amount of $40. Motion to approve. Second. We have a motion and a second. Voting, please. Jennifer? Yes. George? Yes. Don? Yes. 
Number three, approved reimbursement check to Tyler Palm for overpayment to Aflac in the amount of $187.20. Motion to approve. Second. Motion and second. Uh, voting, please. Jennifer? Yes. Jordan? Yes. Don? Yes. Number four, approved payment to Gearheads Garage for repairs and labor to a 2015 international truck in the amount of $2,611.73. Motion to approve. Second. And motion and second. Voting, please. Jennifer? Yes. George? Yes. Don? Yes. That's all I have. All right. Concerns of the citizens? Anybody want to speak? Okay, that's even better. I mean, Jeff, do you have anything to say? No, you just you just missed this it. This is just entertainment. No. <laughs> no, all right, we're going to try to place the votes in the right spot. Yeah, we'll, be, we'll just do the check afterwards. All right, we'll take that number. There's no okay. refunds here. <laughs> no refunds. <laughs> yeah, okay. Sorry. Okay, Jeff, you're up. I have zoning one resolution that says the March 10th, 2022 zoning report. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second. Voting, please. Jennifer? Yes. George? Yes. Don? Yes. And also two resolution that says the 2022 February Stark County report. Motion to approve. Sec second. Second. <laughs> a motion and a second. Voting, please. Jennifer? Yes. George? Yes. Don? Yes. Um, we, we would need to, uh, should we go into executive session just so we can talk about number one here? We, we can, and I know we'll have, we'll do it all jotting down for Todd so he knows he can get you up to date, but okay. yeah, we can go into executive session. Okay, I make a motion to go and enter an executive session to consider the, to consider the appointment, employment, dismissal, discipline, promotion, demotion, or compensation of a public employee or official or the investigation of charges or complaints against a public employee, official, licensee, or regulated individual, uh, unless the employee, official, licensee, or regulated individual requests a public hearing by Division G1 of Section 121.22 of the Revised Code on 7.15 p.m. Second. I have a motion and a second. Voting, please. Jennifer? Yes. George? Yes. Tom? Yes. Okay. <laughs>